I was just walking with this lady, Lucy, my friend, who I love walking with. We were walking for like an hour, and now it's almost eight o'clock. And also someone this morning stole my towel, so now I have no towel. All my other clothes were on the clothesline, but my towel was gone, so it could have been an accident, but I don't know, because I don't know who would steal it intentionally. It's actually the smallest, most useless towel anyways. So I'll try to buy one if there's an, somewhere to buy one, but honestly, I'll just use my shirt. <laughs> and today's only like 21K, I think, which is perfect for me because I've had two days of 30K, which is too long. I get up this road because I think people need to, you know, they see the party. Okay, luckily I have a big water bottle and I still have a lot of water left, but like this thing is empty. And that was literally one of my fears before coming here that I would run out of water and then I would go to one of those things and it would be empty because in the book Wild by Cheryl Strayed, which is a true story, she has no water for like the whole day and she's hiking the PCT and she's like dying and she's a little bit of water left and then she gets to a water station thing and chugs the rest of her water and then goes to refill it and the thing is empty and then she has no water. It's a very scary part of the book. I thought I'd be in that position. So, well, I bought a giant water bottle so that I wouldn't run out. So that's good. But especially this Meseta stretch of the Camino, the cities are like 15 kilometers apart sometimes. And that's like, I don't know, three or four hours. And so it's kind of a long time when it's like 85 degrees and sunny to have no water. Some people who have these little tiny water bottles, I'm like, be careful. So I'm taking a little break. It's almost 11 o'clock right now, and I need a little pick-me-up so I'm eating some of my chocolate cereal. Also, I'm eating some pasta. When I eat my rice leftovers, it's like disgusting, and I don't like it, but I like cold pasta, so this is good. I've reached the city of Puente Villarente. So I was going to stop in La Puente Villarente today, which is the place that was 20K away from my last city. But I'm gonna keep walking 4.7K to the next city. Um, and I'm gonna meet up with one of my friends there and I'll get there. It's only like 1130 right now So I'll get there in an hour, which is like perfect arrival time 1230 is great. So I'll get there soon and I've been having a good walk today and it's pretty nice out like it's hot, but it's kind of windy and stuff so I'm just gonna listen to some music and chill and walk for the next hour Okay, here we have a cool tree Apparently you can eat this I was just looking at a map to see how far I've walked today and it was about 26 which is like perfect for me because I'm finding that 30 and like the low 30s is just too much and 20 is like not enough because I can do that in like four hours or something which is it's not enough time in the day. So the city is tiny and it's like a ghost town there's no one around. So I just walked through the whole city and I only passed one person and I didn't pass an albergue, and I'm like, what? I, I don't know where to go, this city is so small. So I just asked a guy, he said there are no albergues here, which I believe, because there's like nothing here. So it's the next city apparently, which is two kilometers away. So I'm gonna walk there now. I just ate some pasta, and the rest of my granola, and three bananas, and some of the cereal. So that's a good meal. There's no one in here right now, so I'm gonna take a fat nap. Also, there are no bunk beds, which is super nice. I love the single beds. We are trying to cook rice. We had a debate about whether you boil the water first or second, and Genevieve seems to think that you- We've got it. It's gonna mix work. it together, but I don't really think so. And then we have some nice veggies that we're gonna cook all up together for dinner. So our stuff is cooking here, except the rice is not boiling, and it's been there for like 20 minutes. So I think I was right, and you boil the water first, but it's okay. This is the finished product. It's pretty good. What do you think? Oh, Rate it so one good. to ten. Definitely ten out of ten. Wow. So now I'm eating a neck drain of my cereal, and this little kitty is coming to say hello to me. It's almost nine o'clock and everyone in my room is already sleeping and I missed my nap today. So honestly, I think I'm gonna go to bed, get a solid eight hours hopefully. I love that we don't have bunk beds so I can probably get a really good night's sleep tonight, which I'm excited about because that is rare on the Camino for me at least. So peace out vlog, the classic outro.